The name Rosalind Franklin is unknown to many, even though she is one of the most influential scientists in the discoveries surrounding DNA. Although some of her work was appreciated dur during her life, in my opinion her biggest contribution to the discovery of the structure of DNA was left unappreciated. Franklin was born on the 25th of July 1920 in London. From an early age it was obvious she was very intelligent and by 15 she knew she wanted a career in science. She went on to study natural sciences at the University of Cambridge, graduating in 1941. After studying coal and completing her PhD, she moved to France in 1946 to work on the, at the Central Laboratory of State Chemical Services. Here she worked with Jack Meering on X-ray diffraction. This is when an X-ray, like those used in hospitals, are fired at a crystal producing a scattering pattern. She then used this method in 1951 at King's College in London. She worked with John Randall, using this x-ray technique on DNA to see its structure. This effectively created an image of the DNA. When viewing this image, she noticed the DNA had a double helix structure. This is a ladder twisted in a spiral that we now know as DNA. Franklin spent hours improving this image that is now referred to as Photograph 51. Unfortunately, her colleague, named Morris Wilkins, showed this image to James Watson and Francis Crick, who went on to publish her discoveries without credit. This meant she got very little appreciation for her work and Watson and Crick took the credit. In 1963, Watson and Crick won the Nobel Prize in Physiology or Medicine for her discovery. Franklin was never nominated for a Nobel Prize. Franklin continued to research for the final years of her life, making other discoveries which benefited science. In 1956, she was diagnosed with ovarian cancer and after the diagnosis, she continued researching for two years while undergoing treatment. Sadly, she died on the 16th of April 1958. Rosalind Franklin was truly an unsung hero of science. Her discovery about DNA led to further research and experiments. However, she never re received much appreciation for all her efforts.